What's up? Dith Rothko again. Coming at you with some, with some, uh, new thoughts and opinions and all of that stuff. So, uh, this week, me and my, uh, brother Leroy, we went to the, uh, two dollar movie theater so we could, uh, catch us a feature, a feature of film for you, uh, stupid people out there. <laughs> and, uh, check this out. We, uh, we buy tickets and everything and I'm thinking, I want to get me some popcorn and some brisk iced tea. So I tell Leroy to go on ahead in the theater. So, uh, I get my uh, goodies, you know, like that Sierra song. My goodies! And, uh, so, uh, I get my goodies and I go into the theater and, uh, I can't find Leroy nowhere. So I sit down thinking maybe he's pooping or playing with himself or something. And, uh, then. The, the previews and everything started. Then they had these Fandango bags talking. But that make any sense? They had the Fandango bags just sitting there talking away about Fandango. And that don't make no sense to me. Uh, how, how you gonna get a Fandango bag in your little uh, movie? Because, uh, what you gonna pay it in? And where you gonna find them actors? I mean, how you gonna pay them? You can't give them paper money. They're gonna find that offensive or something. And what you paying, man? Groceries? I mean, just sit there, turn them upside down, put a bunch of bananas in, and say good job. I mean, that don't make no sense. So, uh, then the movie started, and I want to see this movie because it's about Will Smith, and uh, it's got Will Smith in it, and uh, it's uh, about him being the last surviving member of an immortal race. That don't make no sense. How are they in a mortal race if, if they all dead except for one? He's the last member of a race that can die. Now, uh, so the movie started. I'm, I'm sitting there watching it. Then I realized, Will Smith ain't in this. I mean, he and all the previews and everything, but they don't say nothing about the immortal race or anything like that. Will Smith ain't even in it. The movie I saw is about the guy from American History X and Fight Club turning green. Uh, that didn't make no sense. I, I was I was really confused there. So uh after this I uh I think I give this movie about a I give it a ten out of ten just because I like seeing Liv Tyler side like that. <laughs> I like seeing that. <laughs> it, it it's sexy. So uh don't see this movie. It's it's very misleading from the previews. So don't see this movie unless uh you think you want to see Liv Tyler's side too. So uh next week I might be reviewing a new movie. I'm thinking go and see that new movie, The Incredible Hulk. And uh I might review that, but I kinda don't want to because it kinda sounds like a ripoff of this movie. So I might not go. So uh I'll be back next week anyway. So uh uh What's up? Peace. One love, peace, peace.